Greetings travel buddies and welcome to another episode of Seoul. If you are new to this channel, I greet you all, welcome. If you are a regular subscriber, I greet to you, welcome back. For the new visitor, I would like to ask you to click that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up if you find our travel guide helpful and inspiring. Without further ado, let's go to our number one topic for top place to go to while in Seoul, Korea. Our number one topic for place to go to in Seoul, Korea will be Doksugun Palace or Doksu Palace, which is a walled compound of palaces in Seoul that was inhabited by members of Korea's royal family during the Joseon monarchy. It is one of the five grand palaces built by the king of Joseon dynasty. In addition to the traditional palace building, there are also forested garden, a statue of King Sejong the Great, and the National Museum of Art, which holds special exhibition. The palace is located near City Hall Station. Make sure to see the changing of the guard ceremony. Number 2 of top place to go to while in Seoul will be Changdeokgung. Prospering Virtual Palace is set within a large park in Jongnonggu, Seoul, South Korea. It is one of the five grand palaces built by the king of the Joseon dynasty in 1392. Changdeokgung or the East Palace was the most favored palace of many Joseon princes. The buildings of Changdeokgung blend with the natural topography of the site. The palace was added to the UNESCO World Heritage in 1997. While at the palace, one can rent one of the handbook to get the first-hand experience on being one of the palace princes. Our top number three choice for place to visit while in Seoul will be Bukhansan National Park. Bukhansan are also main mountains north of the Han River. The park contains forested area, temple, and granite peaks. Due to its popularity with hikers, some trails are closed on a rotation basis to protect the local environment. The Bukhansan Fortress is located in the park together with its 9.5km wall. This fortress was built to protect Seoul from foreign invasion and it was expanded in its current size in 1711. Our number top 4 place to go to while in Korea will be Namda Moon Market, the oldest and largest traditional market in Korea, located next to Namda Moon, the Great South Gate. Namda Moon dates back to 1414 during the reign of King Taejong as a government-managed marketplace. In 1608, King Sonjo set up the office of Son Kye Chong in the district to manage distribution of rice. Nam Dai Moon is a popular tourist attraction. Our top number 5 of place to visit while in Seoul will be Guang Myeong Cave, a tourist attraction in Guang Myeong. It is a cave located on the far southwest outskirt of Seoul. This cave was used when Korea was under Japanese rule from 1910 to 1945 for mining. The cave compound reopened in 2011 for tourism purpose and now has historical exhibit but is chiefly entertaining. It has aquarium, sculpture, light show, children's amusement, and winery. The cave is popular especially for its cooler underground temperature in summer. In order to reach the cave, one can easily reach it by car or go to the nearest Seoul Metro Link in Guangmyeong KTV station. Has our travel guides been helpful to you? Please leave a comment or two at the comment section down below and let us know of places that we have helped inspire you to go to for your next Seoul visit. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, scenic.geek. Until next time and happy traveling!